Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now recently I've been having some trouble getting Microsoft Flight Simulator to work. However, you may be surprised to hear that it wasn't actually the Flight Sim itself that wasn't working. It was actually an app called Gaming Services that had stopped working. Now the problem with this is that this particular app you cannot actually uninstall it as you would any other app. And then after you've uninstalled it, there isn't actually an easy way to reinstall it. So if you uninstall it, then you can't use any games or anything on your PC. So how do you get around this? Well, for the past few days, I've been doing some research on how to reinstall it and uninstall it, etc. And I've tried some uh, different methods to try and fix it, but none of them have worked. But then I came across this rather quick and easy solution, and surprisingly, it fixed it no problem. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through how you can fix the gaming services if they've stopped working for you, as I think it is quite a common problem. So first of all, you are going to want to open an app called PowerShell. So to do this, just go to the search bar at the bottom of your screen and type PowerShell, and then simply run this as administrator. Very important that you do that. Then once it's open, copy and paste this line of code that I've linked down in the description, and then click enter. Now what this first bit of code will do is it will uninstall the gaming services. Then simply just close everything and restart your laptop. Then once your laptop has restarted, reopen PowerShell just as you did before by running it as administrator etc. And then copy and paste this second line of code that I've also put down in the description in and then click enter. Now what this will do is it will just take you to the Microsoft Store where you can reinstall it and so it will open the Microsoft Store like this and then all you need to do is click the button where it says free and this will just reinstall it. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So there you have it, if your gaming services isn't working and you can't get them working then try this method. I found that it worked instantly the very first time I used it and as a lot of other methods that I tried just didn't work at all. Thank you so much for watching, if this has helped you in any way then please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.